Hey guys, so this past weekend I went to see a concert, and don't get me wrong, it was so much fun. But it reminded me of when I was a little kid, and my one dream was to be in a boy band. To start off, I'm around 9 or 10 years old at the time, which means that myself and my friends are pretty much limited to whatever we can do around where we live. So my friend Chris and I decide that today, we want to make music. I mean, after all, how hard can it be, right? So what happens is that morning we go out and form our band. So it's Chris, myself, and then the rest of our neighbors around us as members. These people consisted of drummers, guitarists, and backup dancers. So for this, I'll focus on Chris and myself. Chris was the lead singer and the bass guitarist. And myself, I was the drummer. Now you see, we were more of an alternative type of band, so we didn't like to follow the idea of traditional instruments. So Chris, of course, played the bass because that's what he was learning in middle school. And I, never have drummed before in my life, decided that I'm going to be alternative and use a toolbox to play the drums. And while we're at it, who even needs drumsticks? So I used a plastic fork and knife. I know, it's experimental, but that's the exact feeling that we were going for. Now as artists, we believe that we would generally need a pen name. So not knowing anything really at the time, mine was Fergie, mainly because it sounded like a frog. Chris's, on the other hand, was a lot more experimental and fit with the band's feeling. His was popcorn. And together, all of us were the exploding popcorn balls. Which honestly, makes me feel like we were just hungry at the time. So that day, the exploding popcorn balls became a reality. I even made a binder and labeled it with posters and everything with our band name. Now you see, when you're at this age, creating your own music? No. That's boring. What we wanted to do was covers. But not just any covers. Queen covers. Well, I say covers, but it was actually just one song, and it was We Will Rock You by Queen. Now let me tell you, our 9 and 10 year old selves covering Queen, that was something to see. So we would be all up at the end of my cul-de-sac practicing because we were going to have a gig at some point. We even had plans to build a stage at the end of our road. It was going to be amazing. Needless to say, after hours upon hours of dedication and work, sadly, the exploding popcorn balls never made it to record. But I like to think that if we tried a little bit harder, we'd be a top hit. Even if we weren't one of the top boy bands of today's generation, if you have any opinions on this topic, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. If you liked it, make sure to show your support. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. I'm Tyler, and until next time, I'll see you around.